हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल प्लांट पैथोलॉजी पाठशाला इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट इंपॉर्टेंट डिजीजेस ऑफ राइस इट्स कॉजल ऑर्गेनिज्म सिम्टम एंड मैनेजमेंट प्रैक्टिसेस इफ यू हैव नॉट सीन दैट वीडियो प्लीज सी दैट वीडियो फर्स्ट देन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द ट्वेंटी फाइव मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन ऑन डिजीजेस ऑफ प्राइस This question will be very helpful for students who are preparing for ICAR, JRF, SRF, bank exams, and other competitive exams. So, see this video till the end, and don't forget to subscribe my channel. So, let's start the video. So, the first question is: Pyriform conidia are produced by which of the following fungi? So the answer is A. Pyricularia oryzae. Pyricularia oryzae is the causal organism or causal agent of rice blast disease, and this is the imperfect stage or the conidial stage. And in this conidial stage, it produces pyriform conidia, which is of three cell. Okay, so Pyricularia oryzae produced pyriform. conidia of three celled okay next question is which rice pathogen produce chlamydospore so the answer is d ostella gonoide virens so the ostella gonoide virens produce a special type of asexual spore that is the chlamydospore this are the asexual spore which produce due to the thickening of cell wall of the intercalary cell okay if you want to know more about asexual spore how it produce which fungi produce which type of asexual spore then please see my previous video that is on the asexual reproduction of fungi i will give the link in the description section please check that next question is which disease is known as rich man's disease so the answer is rice blast that is caused by matnaporte oryzae or the pyricularia oryzae then why it is called as rich man's disease because due to the excess availability of nitrogen the disease incidence of the rice blast increases that's why it is known as rich man's disease next question is question number 4 which disease is known as poor man's disease so the answer is bacterial leaf blight Or B L B of rice. Why it is called as poor man's disease? Because this disease is favored by poor availability of nitrogen. Or due to the poor availability of nutrient, the disease incidence increase. That's why it is known as poor man's disease. In contrast to the rice blast, where if the availability of nitrogen increases. the disease incidence will also increase okay next question number 5 which chemical is used to control rice blast so the answer is a tricyclazole this is a very effective fungicide against rice blast it can be used as foliar spray or maybe as the seed treatment okay next question number 6 cresec the wilting of seedling at nursery stage seen due to which disease so the answer is blb of rice or bacterial leaf blight of rice in this disease at nursery stage c 
seedling wilting occur and that stage is known as crescent okay or that symptom is known as crescent next question number 7 perfect stage of rice blast fungi produces which sexual spore so the answer is b four celled ascospore so the fungi are having two stages one is perfect stage that is known as teleomorphic stage and another is the imperfect that is known as the anamorphic stage in teleomorphic stage the fungi produce sexual spore that is the that may be the ascospore or zygospore oospore so many asexual spores are there i have already made a separate video on sexual reproduction of fungi where i have discussed about the methods of sexual reproduction and also the sexual spore i will give the link in the description section you may check that and here the blast fungi or rice blast causing fungi that is the magna porte oryzae it produces four cell ascospores next question number 8 causal agent of seed blight of rice is so the answer is d rhizoctonia solani seed blight of rice produce water soaked lesions that is surrounded by a brownish margin on the leaf seed okay if you want to know about the more symptoms then please check my previous video that is on the important diseases of rice i will provide the link in the description section next question is causal agent of stack burn disease of rice is so the answer is d alternaria padwicki next question is causal agent of bacterial leaf streak of rice is so the answer is c xanthomonas compestris pathova oryzae cola what is this xanthomonas compestris pathova oryzae is the causal agent for bacterial leaf blight of rice that is blv of rice whereas this pathover oryzae coli is the causal agent of bacterial leaf stick of rice okay don't confuse with the, with this two next question is causal agent of foot rot or backend disease of rice is so the answer is fusarium monoliformi this is the causal agent of foot rot or backing disease of rice and it is the first organism or microorganism from which zeolitic acid was first time isolated okay. next question number 12 individual grains transform into yellow or greenish spore balls of velvety mass is due to which disease So the answer is C false smut of rice. So this is the characteristic symptom of false smut of rice where the grains will transform into greenish or yellowish spore balls of velvety mass. Next question number 13 False smut of rice is caused by So the answer is D Astilla gonoidea virus we have already discussed that this pathogen produces the chlamydospore remember this okay next question number 14 rainfall and cloudy weather during the flowering increases the severity of which disease so the answer is c false smut of rice so if rainfall occurs 
at flowering stage then this environmental condition will be favorable for development of false mud of rice that is caused by a stilagonoid virus next question number 15 rice to grow is transmitted by leaf hopper that is nephotetis virescens in a So the answer is C in a semi persistent manner. So the virus that is transmitted by an insect vector may be transmitted in a three manner that is non persistent or semi persistent or persistent manner. In non persistent transmission, the virus is remain restricted up to the stylet of the insect okay if it, it will not enter into any system of insect whereas in case of semi persistent manner here the virus enter up to the gut of the insect okay it will not enter into the hemolymph it will enter up to the gut next in a persistent manner transmission here the virus enter into the gut then enter into the Hemolymph and finally it will reach the salivary gland where it will multiply also. Okay, this persistent transmission may be of circulative type or maybe the propagative type. I will try to make a separate video on virus vector relation or virus transmission. Okay, where I will discuss all these things with examples. Next question number 16. Pathogen causing rice blast is a so the answer is hemibiotrop the pathogen that is causing different diseases may be of four type first one is saprophyte then biotrop necrotrop and hemibiotrop these saprophytes are the microorganism which perpetuate on the dead and decayed matter okay whereas the biotrop these are the pathogen which need a living host for its survival living host is must for this okay whereas the necrotrop these also need a living host but it produces some chemicals or toxin because of which the plant cell or the host cell will die and on the dead cell it will perpetuate okay whereas the hemibiotrop employ the mechanism of both biotrop and the necrotrop just like the rice blast pathogen here this pathogen will behave as necrotrop in the first phase of its life cycle whereas in later stage it behave as biotrop that's why it is known as hemibiotrop okay Next question number 17. Xanthomonas oryzae, Pathoba oryzae enters the host cell through. So the answer is A. Hydrothodes. Hydrothodes is a natural opening through which the Xanthomonas oryzae, Pathoba oryzae, that is the causal organism of. BLB of rice or bacterial leaf blast of rice enters into its host cell. This is a bacteria and generally bacteria enters into its host cell through natural opening or the wounds. So this bacteria also employ the same mechanism just like other bacteria as they do not possess any type of mechanical forces to get entered into the host cell. Next, question number 18. Among the toxins produced by Helminthosporium oryzae, which is most toxic one? So the answer is A. Ophiobolin A. This pathogen Helminthosporium oryzae produce three type of toxin that is ophiobolin A, ophiobolin B, ophiobolin I. And among these three toxin, 
ऑफियोबोलिन ए इज द मोस्ट टॉक्सिक वन ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइनटीन फर्स्ट फोरकास्टिंग मॉडल डेवलप्ड फॉर ली ब्लास्ट वॉज सो द आंसर इज ए ब्लास्ट सो द फर्स्ट फोरकास्टिंग मॉडल डेवलप फॉर लीव ब्लास्ट इज द ब्लास्ट ओके दिस इज द नेम ऑफ द फोरकास्टिंग मॉडल नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी विच पैथोजन जनरली इनफैक्ट राइस प्लांट एट बूटिंग स्टेज एंड डेवलप ग्रेस ब्राउन स्पॉट्स ऑन फ्लैग लीव सीड विच लेटर रिजल्ट इन रॉटिंग सो द आंसर इज बी सैरोक्लाडियम ओराइजिंग this is the causal organism of sea throat of rice so this is the characteristic symptom of sea throat of rice okay on flax seed the first symptom develop as brown spots which rot the seed okay leaf seed of flax leaf okay next question number 21 Vikramarya is a variety of rice showing resistant to which disease So the answer is D rice tumoro disease so vikramarya is a resistant variety which impart resistance against rice tumoro disease next question about 22 iodine test is done to detect which disease so the answer is d rice tumoro disease so to detect or to identify or to confirm the rice tumoro disease iodine test was conducted next question about 23 narrow brown spot is caused by so the answer is a sarcospora oryzi narrow brown spot caused by sarcospora oryzi and only brown spot brown spot is caused by helminthosporium oryzi okay these two are different next question number 24 perfect stage of fungus causing seed blight or rice is so the answer is thanatophorus cucumeris the pathogen which is causing seed blight of rice is rhizoctonia solani that is the imperfect stage whereas the perfect stage of rhizoctonia solani is thanatophorus cucumeris okay in this stage it produces its sexual spores next question number 25 and the last question is for vector transmission of rice tumoro disease which virus particle is needed so the answer is rtsv that is rice tumoro spherical virus as i have mentioned in my previous video that rice tumoro disease is caused by or it is due to two virus particles that is rice tumoro bacilliform virus and rice tumoro spherical virus this rice tumoro bacilliform virus or the rtbv is mainly responsible for the maximum symptoms okay whereas rtsb or rice tumoro spherical virus is must for the virus transmission through the insect vector that is the nephrotetic virulence okay through the leaf hopper it is transmitted in a semi persistent manner okay so this is the end of this video if you found this video useful for you please like this and let me know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe my channel if you want more discussion on plant pathology please join my facebook and telegram group link is given in the description section please check that Thank you for watching